Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope everyone have a nice day today. As of today, this is a video presentation for our final year project entitled Exploring Industry-Based Skills for Statistics Graduates Through Online Job Advertisement. For your information, our group was supervised by Madam Norizati Muhammad Yusuf. I am Siti Nur Shafika binti Mili will lead the presentation as presenter number one. Public and private universities have gradually increased in Malaysia. There is more supply of graduates than their demand in the industry. Graduates are handling a greater competitive nature even more than before. Silva in 2020 stated that 60% of graduates remain unemployed even after one year of graduation. The graduates, especially fresh graduates, will find that there is a big problem crop up for them to market themselves to satisfy the needs of employers in the same field of study. A study conducted by Leo in 2019 found that 11.3% of unemployed fresh graduates were from sciences, mathematics and computing studies. It is obvious that statistics students who came from this field of study will compete even more in the labor market to secure a job. Woya in 2019 stated that an imbalance between number of graduates and employment has been identified as the cause. The anxieties for not being able to decide on a career or being plugged by the career exploration process are also the concerns of the graduates. The graduates do not latch on with the future job area that they could go to bed for. It is pertinent for them to have encountered career exploration in trying to counterpart their attributes such as interests, skills and personality to the job market. Being a high competence candidate will increase graduates' chance to be employed in any organization. Some platform can be used as a guideline to set an individual's level of competencies in a specific career. So, how did you think graduates nowadays can find their job opportunities? Yes, obviously through online job advertisement. Online job advertisement platform is the best platform to uncover the skills and values that employers seek for their future employers. Job advertisement contain a rich source of talent information in the labor market. The online job advertisement analysis will help the researchers to infer employers' requirement of skills through analyzing the types of online job advertisement. Therefore, this study attempts to explore job advertisement analysis to uncover the required skill for statistics graduates. Next, we move to problem statement. Skill mismatch is an important problem to highlight in the 21st century workplace. Higher education institutions have set priority to ensure that graduates have sufficient knowledge, values, skills and attitude to meet the demands of the industries. Thus, the curriculums need to be revised at least every five years to keep it updated and only offers a relevant syllabus. So, information from employers is essential in this process. Having the ability to extract information from employers through online job advertisement will help to understand the market demand. However, it is a big challenge to deal with a massive data on job advertisements. Besides, most information exists in the text forms. It is a challenge to extract words pattern, frequent words, or whether there is an association between words. This intensive process of information extraction is needed. It will help to answer what the skills required by employees are and any specific skills needed to fit for different types of industries. So it is hoped that through this research, statistics, fresh graduates or management of universities will be able to identify which industry requires statistical knowledge, 
spread awareness about the job opportunities for statistics fresh graduates in many fields and identify their competencies in the job market. Next, we move to research objective. Basically, this research aims to satisfy three objectives which are firstly, we want to infer the employer's requirement of skills for statistics graduates. Second, we want to investigate the skills required among different types of industries and job positions. And lastly, we want to determine whether there is an association between skill set and types of industries. I will pass the presentation to presenter number two, which is Amira Afifa. Thank you, presenter one, and I will continue this presentation. My name is Amira Afifa binti Muhammad Falil. I will present about methodology and descriptive analysis. There are two methodologies used in this study, which is text mining analysis and chi-square test of independence. Before I start, I will present about data source of this study. The data were collected starting from September 2019 until February 2020 through online job advertisement platform in Malaysia, which is jobstreet.com. Next, we use descriptive analysis to summarize variables like job positions, type of industry, location, with table, bar charts, pie chart, or line plots. The first method is text mining analysis. Text mining analysis can be conducted using our software and rapid miner. But in this study, we use our software because it is more reliable, uh, reproducible, and cost-free. There are several steps in order to perform text mining analysis. First, we need to do text pre-processing. This include tokenization, stop word removal, filtering, and stemming. The second step is text transformation. And gram list would be used to count the usage of the composed words uh, in the text advertisement and also to create the back of words. For feature selection, this research use chi-square test to the association between two categorical variables. Last step is text mining techniques. We use pattern matching algorithm techniques in this study. For example, ggplot and word cloud. The last method is chi-square test of independence. This method is used to examine the association between the skills and the type of industry. There are two hypotheses to be tested, which is there is an association between soft skills and types of industry, and there is an association between hard skills and types of industry. Next, we will move on to result and analysis. There are several descriptive analyses that have been done in this study. For first descriptive analysis is job advertisement by location. As we can see from the pie chart, most job offers are for posting in Kuala Lumpur which is the percentage of distribution is 69%. Then followed by Selangor with 25% job advertisement. For industry type, the graph indicates that most job advertisement are leading by consultation industries. For job position, we can see from the chart that data scientist becomes the highest job position which is they offers 19 online job advertisement. Then followed by analyst with 17 job advertisement. For language preference, we can see from the table that candidates who have ability to communicate in English and multi-language are highly demanded by companies. Last but not least, for advertisement by month, the highest total of the job advertisement is in October 2019 and January 2020 with 17 posts. Advertisement increased gradually from August to October 2019, but the number slightly dropped until December 2019. In January 2020, job offers increased with February having a slight drop in number. The lowest count of job advertisement is in August. 
Now, I will pass this presentation to Aisha as presenter 3. Thank you, Amira, for your presentation. I am the next presenter and my name is Nur Aisha Binti Noor Azhar. First, I would like to cover essential soft skill and hard skill in job market. The result is in work cloud to answer the first objective. This is the work cloud of most frequent words of soft skill in the job advertisement. The words in the dark grey colours shows the most important soft skill mentioned which are communication skill, multitask and cross functional. It is followed by team detail and detail mind that indicates the need to pay high attention to details when working in a team. Next, the most frequent hard skill is shown in the work cloud above. As we can see, the most frequent hard skill is the datum process. Datum is the plural for data. The next most frequent hard skills are computer skills, Microsoft Excel, datum analysis as well as Microsoft Word. This is the basic software that the graduate needs to master. To answer the second objective, we use bar chart to get the skill set for different positions and industry. I will present only the top first for each position and industry. The top first position is data scientist. The chart above shows the most frequent hard skill for data scientist position. A graduate needs to have an observational study and machine learning skill. Besides that, having knowledgeable in resolution tool, understanding interactive data, and having good data resolution knowledge. The next chart shows the most frequent soft skill for data scientist position. Data scientist position requires the graduates to adapt well with senior guidance. Besides that, it is also important to have great communication skill and business solution skill. Now, I will present the talk first for industry, which is consulting industry. The consulting industry requires graduate to master data processing. From the figure above, there are a few computer skills for graduate to master, such as Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, SQL Query, and Visualization Tool. For soft skill, Multitask is the top skill needed based on the chart above. After that, pay attention to team detail and able to build relationship well in a functional team. The last part of analysis is association between skill set in industry that we use to achieve the third objective. The null hypothesis states there is no significant association between skill set and type of industry, while the alternative hypothesis state there is a significant association between skill set and type of industry. A cast square test of independence shows that there was a significant association between soft skill set and industry. Also, there was a significant association between hard skill set and industry. Since both p value is smaller than alpha 0.1, therefore it can be concluded that the skill set for soft and hard skill are sought differently in certain industry. As a conclusion, the result of work club summarizes all the top skills required by the employers in the job advertisement for hard skill, data processing skill, computer skill, and data analysis skill. Meanwhile, the soft skills are communication skill, multitask, and cross functional. Next, all the bar chart that were being explained in analysis show the top skill with the most important industry and job position for testing graduates. Thus, the graduates who are interested in that type of industry or job position should enhance on that skill. Lastly, the skill set for soft and hard skills are sought differently in different industries. Since the chi square test result shows that there was a significant association between soft skill and hard skill with type of industry. For recommendation, it is recommended to use different package of our software since our software offer many package of statistics and data mining. Other than that, a longer time frame should be considered to enable a greater size to ever analyze. Last but not least, collect data for a variety job advertisement platform since they might a company that not use job street to advertise their job vacancy. That's all from us. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time.